What episode we on, bro? Sixty-eight. Twenty-one. What you do? What you do today, by the way? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. What, what? Did I do today? I uh, went to the uh, like the you know the Whiskey Joe's at like Causeway Trail. You know Whiskey Joe's. Oh yes, I'm Clearwater. stupid. Over there by uh, WGR. You, you, Corey, Benny went there like years. Yeah, ago. yeah, yeah. By uh, WGR. Yeah. Yeah, was, I should just set that if you didn't know. Uh, we just walked over there, but then like, I was trying to walk like you know you trying to like you know when you trying to bike you trying to bike like. Go yeah. distance. I know you try, you want to go far. I ain't talking shit. But like I was, we literally walked for like probably like six minutes. The tire is like, my my feet here. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm like, all right. So okay, let's let's eat, and then I'm assuming we're gonna eat, and then the go. Walk. I want to like go on the bridge. That's like a couple like a mile or two up. I want to like just walk because there's like some dope like views and shit. And then we eat, and then she's like, I'm tired. Like, I'm like, eh. I'm, like I'm just like. Damn, like, I came all the way out here to eat a damn, to walk, like, up the street and go eat a chicken sandwich. And, like, I actually wanted to, like, I brought my running shoes. I, like, yeah, you know, I, I want to get into it. Like, I feel like that's how women be, though, so a lot of yeah, times. I'm like, like, it's like they want to, they, like, I really want to go here, like, the views and the walk and this and that. Once and it there, happens. And then when they get there, like, all right, I'm tired. Let's go yeah, home now. I literally called her a, I'm like, stop being a wimp. Like, <laughs> I was like, bro, like, I want to, like, anyway, but, yeah. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Tyra, though. Yeah, shout out to you, but. Damn recording? Okay, yeah, put that in there. Like. Man, here we are. We're here, man. Welcome to uh, episode 29 of the Payday Off podcast. We in this bitch. All right, we're here. Um, Yo. Troy is not here today because Troy is at a uh, comedy show. Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler, apparently. Which okay. I didn't know that he did stand up. Yeah. For the longest time. I just thought he was like a like a super mega actor. Yeah, like I said, bro, like most, most actors... Most com- comedy actors, at least, like they start, they start from stand up. Yeah, hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just didn't know his whole backstory. I didn't know he did that shit. Yeah, like think of like, like a Jerry Eddie Fe- Murphy yeah. or Seinfeld. Like Seinfeld, yeah, yeah. Seinfeld. Uh, yeah. Or Chris Rock or whatever. Like they start from that shit. So right, right. Um, but yeah, so it's just uh, me and T rocking today. Uh, Jamari on the cameras. All one right. the ones and two, one and only, the one and only. All right. Um, but yeah, we here, man. Um, I, 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 it's, has it been a little bit since you started start, since you started the pot off on a somber note? Um, mm. Has it been? Kind of. Literally a yeah. month ago. Yeah, yeah, like a few. Episodes well, yeah, ago. but we. Yeah, I guess we talked about the. I remember at one point last year, remember it was like death after death after death after death, bro. Like literally every episode. Yeah, like every episode we had to say R.I.P. to somebody, man. But this one is p- particularly special, um, just because it's somebody that we that. I mean, I could say I kind of, I won't say grew up with like it, like since we were ch- children, but like I was a part of like high school in a in a very major way, and they and like this group as a whole molded uh, a lot of the sounds that's coming out today. I think I think we can all agree with that. Mm-hmm. No matter whether you, whether you like it or not, that's kind of what it is. So um, so that's takeoff. So rest in peace to him. Um, that's a pretty fucked up situation. What happened? But yeah, uh, um, I, I I don't really know. When I when I saw that shit, I didn't know what to think about that. I didn't even know, like it didn't even seem real. What, what were you doing like when it happened? Everybody um, like knows what was going. I what was I? What was I, what, what? I, I had up. I had well, I was waking up. It seems like two in the morning. Yeah, Khaled had sent something in the group chat. Mm, yeah, yeah I that's saw what that. it was. I remember that. Yeah, and I yeah. saw it, and I was like, but I didn't quite believe it yet because he just said it. And I was like, I was like, oh, okay, and then I ended up going to. Um, Twitter or whatever, and so I, then that's I, you, you know, know. that's you when you see it. And I'm like, oh my god, TMZ, bro. no jumper, yeah. academics, blah blah blah. Yeah, I let the shade room verify everything for me. You know what I'm saying? Well, if they post it, I'm like, it's legit. That's my like. That's your verification. That's my I'm, CNN, I'm my Fox guy. News. You see, I don't follow TMZ. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because that's when you know it's legit. Like somebody could be like, oh, rest in peace, but I'm like, did they really like? Is it still going on? Yeah, it's like, like you never really know. So that's your like shade room. Yeah, it's like, that's okay. my shade room. Yeah. So that's 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 like my thing. But I was like. Damn, but yeah. I, okay, I, let's get some clarification though. All right, and Jamar, you can chime in on this. All right, mm-hmm. what happened? Uh, well, I mean, bro. At first, like for example, when you first said it to me, and I look, people saying, "Oh, it was over a dice game and this and that." But then when you look further, like there's like missing pieces to the puzzle. Yeah, because then you see him arguing, and he said something about basketball. They weren't even arguing about basketball. They was talking about it's basketball. He was like, "Bro, I'm not gonna argue with you over basketball." He was like, "Man." Let's go before I, before I have to hurt somebody. Mm. He was talking to Jay Prince Jr. And yeah, he walked video. off. And then literally you see Jay Prince Jr. punch somebody. And I don't know who he punched, but you see him punch somebody because you watch the video. You can see the shoes when the video starts scrambling. 
and Jay Prince Jr. is the one that punched somebody. And then next thing you know, you see you like if you look real close, you see like takeoff, and you see like some dude in a yellow hoodie. And then literally a few seconds later, you hear a pop, 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 and motherfuckers start shooting. And then you see, and if you keep looking, mm-hmm. you see a dude with a yellow hoodie. He runs back into the bowling alley. But you don't know all this when you first see it. But like this is just from analyzing the video. You uh, see a dude. My dribbling it sounded like the nigga was there. Bro, <laughs> bro, no, nah, no, nah, niggas, because there's so much footage, like, yeah. footage, Twitter, motherfuckers, everyone's talking. Yeah, yeah nah, facts. bro, did you, any of y'all see, based off that, did y'all see uh, academics on Twitch? Bro, they were, like, kind of like you were analyzing, they were breaking that shit down live. That's what he does, though. On, no, yeah. but live, on, but, like, when the death like this, they were, like, on live, like, all right, chat, like, this dude did this, so, wait, who is that guy? Chat, look up his Instagram, right? This was live. Like, look oh, up his Instagram. He's like, was like, chat, hurry, like, chat hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. He got All that right. kind of pulled. This guy is like, okay, this guy is with this girl. Look up, everybody look up her Instagram. He's like, oh, okay. So, this dude looks like he was had something in his hand, so blah, blah, blah. Get his so Instagram. So, they started connecting. Bro, the they like, I'm pretty sure they found the killer in like an hour. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I, bro, I'll send you the link. Bro, it was actually, like, kind of amazing. Like, yeah, that's they did wild. better than the police do. Yeah. That is wild, bro. You can say police shit, but, like, to find something that's. That's crazy. Like, Put way, what are your favorite good rap group? The best, fa- the best yeah, rap group ever. Yeah, I'm all ever? for it, nigga. No, I hope someone like, finds out that. That, shit. Is, that is pretty. That is pretty stupid, bro. All right, I ain't. Go, this is. This sounds crazy, but <clears throat> my mom. Um, I'm sorry, my sister called me this morning. I, um, I was like just waking up, and she said that um, my biological grandfather passed away today. Oh shit! Or passed away last night. Whatever. Last night. This Did morning, you know whatever. the nigga? Huh? Did you know the nigga? Not, I know I haven't seen him. All right, but um, I didn't like I haven't seen him in years, and like that's a whole other thing. I ain't gonna get into the whole family thing. You know what I'm saying, but anyways, my point being is that I haven't seen him, and it's just not like that close. It's just, it's a very interesting relationship. M- what I'm trying to say is is that when I heard about takeoff dying, that was that that the fact this is. That was basically hit me more, and that was harder to me than that, which yeah, sounds yeah. crazy. You that sounds crazy. More bro. relationship. I mean, it doesn't. That sounds really, crazy. But it doesn't really sound that crazy. Music wise, like you have more of a relationship and just growing up, like more, yeah. more memories, experiences. He, you know, you don't even know the nigga, but yeah. you have more experience. That's wild. And that, and that right there kind of like just goes to show, like you can really connect on this music shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Like you, re- not even just music. Any type of any type of entertainment yeah, or any yeah. type of social media whatever the case is without even knowing somebody it's like they can affect you and, and not, it's not I'm, I'm not the biggest uh takeoff fan of you know anything like that all i'm saying is that like it was still bigger than you know that other type of relationship so i just i just i guess i'm just confused in terms of because you know wh- exactly what happened mm-hmm. and then I'm, I'm trying to figure out like do these niggas need to be taking more precaution when they outside because oh, i'm like yeah as a rapper, bro, you want to be everywhere. I got to be here. I got to be there. I got to, you know, do this, do this to that. You know what I'm saying? But it's like. Yeah. Because they were, like, apparently. like At the bowling when, alley, when they, they went outside, when right? it, Yeah, at the bowling alley, like, when the club or the bowling alley closes type shit. Like, after 2.30, like, you know, when, like, the lights come on and like, everybody like, walks out and is conversating. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe trying to talk to some girls or whatever. Fuck. Like, they were doing that type of shit. And niggas know, like. If you're either if you're trying to get, like, girls or whatever or just talking out, like, not too much. Good happens after like that exactly time. So and niggas got a on. couple of drinks in them. Niggas right, is like so that's probably what was going on. They might not have been drunk, but think about it. When you have a couple of drinks, you more relax. You more don't give a fuck. Yeah, you just on you on that type of time. So, right, I mean, right. it's hard to say, bro. Because think about it, you a mafia nigga supposedly. Um, yeah. in Montage. Houston, and Back. you supposed to be <clears throat> you supposed to be with him, not fighting him. You're with him. He literally got drove there by one of your family members. You were with him in his bowling alley. Next thing you know, y- he, y'all have a disagreement. He tries to walk away mm-hmm. from you, and what do you do? Someone in your group punches somebody, and things escalate. Shots get fired. Someone gets killed in front of you, in your possession, pretty much, because they're supposed to be with you. Mm-hmm. And it was one of your people, more than likely. That's what makes it sketchy as fuck. And like, then when the nigga's on the ground, yeah, what do you do? You don't try to cut. You don't try to help. You don't try to do anything. You look at him. And then you walk back in the bowling alley. You just disappear. Wait, that's what it yeah, J- allegedly happened. Jay Prince Jr. literally walked. You see him. He was like, he told his people, yo, stay over there. And he literally walked over. Quavo's on the ground. And then you see Jay Prince Jr. just Not turn Quavo. and walk Take into the bowling alley. The Takeoff's dead on the ground. He's Take dead. Takeoff or Quavo, you said? Quavo's on the ground because Takeoff's on the ground. 
Oh, okay. yeah. I, I thought you meant. Okay, I got no, you. No, no. I got you. Okay. So then you see Jay Prince Jr. looking over their shoulder pretty much, and then you just see him go, oh. And he turns around, and his, his group just walk back into the bowling alley. See, that's the thing, man. I, that's Flaw. just tough because I try not to. I try not to get too deep into that separate situation because I don't know what the fuck I would be doing if I was sit, if I was in there and a nigga just got shot right in front of me. And I what, get. Okay, go okay. ahead, T. Based off that, one thing that pisses me off and has to like stop, like that I don't fuck with at all. I don't care who you are, like whatever your status. When a nigga like is in a was in an accident or just like in some shit like that get shot whatever blah 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 to i'm just realizing to pull out your phone oh, and yeah. start videotaping that like just like what the f- like that's that's, that's some shit. weirdo i don't care who the fuck did that that is some i don't care if i was like chilling with fucking drake or some shit and then the nigga gets like god forbid like like to like just the fact that imagine pulling out your f- the first thing pulling out your phone just being like damn, let me record this real quick like damn yeah look, like what the fuck Bro, like that's fucked up. Like call nine one one. Like this, this is a human at the end of the day. Like I don't, I just, I, I thought mean, it was so weird to me. Like, I, what's your argument to that? It's not an argument. It's more so like I, 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 I get, get why it? they, I get why they would pull out their phone because think about it. If Bro, they didn't, like no, no, no. But think about it. If they didn't pull out their phone, you wouldn't even know. You wouldn't. We would never know what the fuck. That's really the happened. only rebuttal. But it's still like, bro, like we're fuck, but all, fuck all the, the dead on shit, the ground like, shit. I think that's where they went too far. The pulling and the altercation and all that shit happening. But when takeoff was on well, the ground, prior, if you don't know, like it's gonna happen. Like, is that what you're talking about? Like, prior yeah. But to I was that? just saying, like, when that argument was happening, they had their phones out. But when takeoff was on the ground and nigga got blood coming out the back of his head, yeah, they had they recorded that. That's where they went too far. I don't think they should have ever recorded that part. Yeah, because if you don't know there's a shooting and then you're just, yeah. you're just recording them kind of arguing, that's fine. And then, like, shots go off. It's like, oh, this might be evidence. Like, still, like... Just, you record. In that, in that case, yeah. But, like, when he is on the ground, yeah. like, like, a pool of blood around his yeah, head nah. and you're still just, like... Too far. And the Quavo's, like, like, that's weird as fuck. Yeah, yeah no, nah, you shouldn't... You should At that point, I'm, just, I'm throwing... I'm, Stopping the video, throwing my phone. Like, that's what ready. That's what uh, fucking funerals are for. That's what wakes are for. To see the body, nigga. I don't yeah. want to see this nigga dead on the ground. Man, that was disturbing. Yeah, that man. was fucking disturbing. Just think about like when when uh, when X died, bro. Like that mm-hmm. was all over Instagram, bro. Same this shit. Nigga hanging out of his BMW, deceased. And his best friend was like crying. Like, why the fuck y'all like posting that shit, bro? bro, yeah, bro that shit. That, that shit. Is, that shit was disturbing. That to is watch. tough, man. And that's that one of my example. favorite artists of all time. Yeah. That's disturbing to watch. You said what? That's one of my favorite artists of all time. So that's actually disturbing to watch. That shit. I was like. No, he's not the best artist of all time. If he was still alive, I could ar- make that argument. But he's, depending on where he went from there, but that's a whole nother. That's, that's, was whole, on that's, the a, whole nother, that's a whole nother episode, man. Yeah, I wanted to but, get that point off though, because that that just like sickened me. Like I don't know, just facts. But either man. way, man, rest in peace, take off, man. That was a that's that's. I don't want to I don't want to get on that too much, just because that's a somber a somber like just that's that's a tough thing, man. But I did want to kind of touch on that a little bit to uh you know facts rest in peace to take you know, off rest uh, i guess send our amigos. condolences condolences to the whole uh, qc camp yeah R. Uh, offset that quavo yeah, yeah. so QC that's man. that's pretty crazy but either way man so um let's get let's get into some real shit man some real 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 shit i guess um her loss all right yeah drop banger two days ago bro two days ago oh, it's only been two days Dropped on Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Sunday. Yeah, yep. Um, what do you think? First impressions. I wanted to like, I wanted to wait until the uh, hype died down because you know how internet hype be, and I'm just like, I, I don't want that to um, mess with my initial opinions of how I feel about the album. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But I was just after a while, I was just like, whatever, because there was a hell of like memes. Everybody's it's like, you kind of, it's kind of like you like. I've been to something I like have the to best. listen now. Yeah, yeah. It, it was that, but I'm just like, let me just shut all this shit off because that should be like fuck with my pain sometimes. But mm-hmm. long story short, uh, yeah, no, there it was. It was. It seems like it's a good album. I'm, I'm like probably on my third listen. Uh, there's some repeat value on there for sure. There's some weak ass songs, but there's some like repeat value on there. But uh, overall, I think it's a great album. Bro, um, I think that I think. All right, this is a, this. I think that album was like. I feel like they were playing around. Like having fun. It type was a shit. mixtape, yeah. bro. That shit yeah, ain't no like, fucking Yeah, like, like it, 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 it's, it reminds me. Of, it reminds me of some shit that like you and I would have made back in high school just for fun. And that, I'm, not, I'm not saying that to undermine it. It's a, it's, it's good. It's a good like. I, I really, I really don't consider it an album. Like you said, it's kind of like a tape yeah. to me. It's like a mixtape. Yeah, it's like a tape in a sense. Um, like down to the beats and just how like funny they're being. Just like just it's it's not like there, there's a difference between making songs and making records. There's not really like 
records on there. Mm. Now, I'm saying it to say Drake is still Drake. I, I, you know what I'm saying? That's regardless. But I just don't think that there was that much. I think he did that shit to get 21 Savage some money. <laughs> I ain't going to lie to you. What 21 some money for? <laughs> Brad, put his way. Drake. <laughs> think, about, think about it. <laughs> what? No, 21, but think about 21, 21. it. You, that's a different type of money. We talking Drake. Of course it's a different type of money. Drake saying, sales versus 21 Savage sales. Which one's selling more? 21 Savage might. Clearly. That's what I'm saying. That's why I say for me, I think it was, hey, like what LeBron do? Oh, I'm going to get my dog some more chips. This man like, yeah, I'm going to get him some more money. That's a lot of money. Maybe that was like a like a partial combo, like, but like no, I'm just saying like this well, is I don't like, know. I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm just saying like that's a, like, like a that. that's a, like a different perspective you can look at it. Like damn, what if he was just trying to get that nigga some money? They just did it for fun. Right, said it so was what, for okay, fun. so what was your favorite song off the album? <laughs> My favorite song. I don't know the name of it. I just know it had Travis Scott on it. It's called Pussy and Millions. I'm not that's Travis. my that's oh, yeah, my that that's was... my shit because Travis was on it. Not even because nobody else was that on it. Personally, sucking his dick, nigga. <laughs> 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 you said Travis the whole time we brought this motherfucker. Nigga, up. love this album. Travis, bro. But outside of that, oh, it's love 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 back Travis, outside, bro. back outside, boys. Let don't let don't let Tory Lanez get on the album. This nigga hey. would have been. Are you dick sucky? <laughs> All right, bro. All right. And that's been the other side. <laughs> see, that's the shit I'm talking about right there, bro. All right. See, nigga. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> nah, All right, bro. Uh, overall, though, overall, on some real shit, though, that was a good album. It just, and I, I will say, as I'm listening more to it, I'm like, oh, I'm fucking with this song. I'm fucking with that song. It's not a great album. And I don't think it was ever supposed to be a, supposed to be a great album. Um, my favorite, my favorite song off of that was um, Ocean, Middle of the Ocean. Drake yeah. was uh, Drake Styles on that. Yeah, bro. And that, 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 that fucking A Z that A Z was that just Drake rapping yes, on the song? Bro. It's just Drake bro, song. Yeah, that was just Drake. Yeah, I, you, you should listen. Oh, wait, to that. was he singing on it? No, just rapping. Just rapping. He has straight bars for like yeah. a long time. I was gonna say he has a song on it that he was by himself and he was just like kind of like singing on some old Drake shit. I Not can't singing, remember the song. Bro, we're so well, fresh. We're like, we, still, we still got to process this shit, but yeah. Shit, I, I haven't really like I'm listened to the whole that, album. I like, kind of like clicked on a song. I clicked on all the songs that just said mm-hmm. Drake's name on it. And then I went back in, because I don't like 21 Savage. Yeah, I just started from stop, from uh, top to bottom. When I listen to an album, you, by the way, you wild if you listen to an album the first time and listen to it on shuffle. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. It that's depends. That fucks up the art. That's not, you want to listen to it from the beginning because there's from, a purpose. I go from the first track. I don't care. I don't care if it's an album by Drake or album by fucking Blue, Top Flight. Blue Face. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Top Flight, nigga. Oh, yeah, that nigga just, dropped the album. I'm listening to it all the way through. Yeah, that I'm nigga sure publicity. he has some interludes in there. Oh, you drunk. I need some money for uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> you drunk, nigga. What? That nigga eat lunch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. So yeah, but also real shit, though. Go ahead, go but ahead. yeah, because... I want to listen to it the way that uh, the way that the artist like set it up. So the, at, least, at least the first listen. That's just my opinion. But no, that's nothing wrong with that. That's facts. Yeah. Um, but anyways, though, yeah, that was my favorite song of the album. Um, definitely middle of the ocean. Yeah, that's that was fire. That was fire. Um, and then like everybody fucks with it, but Rich Flex, I fuck with. Uh, fucking uh, Circo Loco, hard as fuck. Yeah, that one was hard. Uh, Jumbo shit popping hard. It's like these are all repeat value songs. I'm naming. Yeah. Um, Back outside, boys. Of course, I did like that one too. Some weak ones. I was, but it may grow on me. Uh, I don't know if y'all know the titles. Privileged rappers. See, so yeah, I don't. Oh. I don't like. I remember oh, that's just like, trash. I to it. I don't that's remember trash. that. I trash. No, no, no. That's just trash. And I say it's trash, bro. I literally just listened to that song in the car on the way here, and I was like, Nah, this ain't it. I skipped. I skipped the song because it was Nah, bro. That it, shit. It was. It was. This is weak. It was a little weak. Yeah, nah. That's not um, <clears throat> one thing I know about Drake, like. <clears throat> It either hits or miss when he, you know, when he goes on that like beat breakdown shit, and it's like he's like, oh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> like and it goes on, yeah. It either hits or it doesn't. And that was one, my main point. There's a track on there. I'm just like, this has been the second time. I'm like, maybe it'll grow on me, but the, the first two times, I'm like, holy shit, turn this shit off. Like, yeah. go to either you I'm fuck with it or you don't. Shit, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> now listen though, that's because fuck with you though, Drew. But we're at the same time though. We're not always into like that. Like especially. If like if you that album, <laughs> Damn. It's my bad, bro. I'm getting a little overwhelmed, man. It's Drizzy, bro. All right, all right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what the, bro? If you come into the, if you come into the, you come into the project, this nigga's rapping. Mm-hmm. You're rapping, and then you hit me with some singing shit out of nowhere. That mm-hmm. throws me off. Yeah, we so, talking about that that like that transition in the first song. 
Cause you, said, that, you, said the, you said the top of the album. Well, not the top, just in general. Oh, okay. That's what okay. I'm talking about. But the song, yeah. Yeah. Like, if you, if you start off rapping and then go to some, like, singing shit, then I'm kind of like, all right. I feel you. It's not that it's bad, because to me, there's no such thing as a bad Drake song. True. You know what I'm saying? Name a bad Drake song. Like, not Please. to you, like, to name, the- Name a bad Drake song to the public. That just sounds to the masses, like a terrible. Well, all right. Well, uh, any, so, anyway, no talent song. Okay, got gotcha. you. I'm gonna let you get. I'm gonna let you go ahead and dive deep. Like that, all right? top three niggas who don't have a bad song: Drake, Weekend, Post Malone. At me. Drake, Weekend, Post Malone don't have a bad song. Yes, they don't. I don't. I can't dive into two Post Malone's catalog. I have never. Post Malone does Post not Malone's have a bad song catalog enough to say. Even it's like White Iverson days. It's it's just all just like. Good music. Potential, like, like good pop music. Like, yeah. Potential meaning, like, on the come up, like, it's not bad. I can fuck with that, though. Yeah. Post Malone is just such a likable guy. It's like... Speaking of that nigga, you see that video of him? Oh, yeah, the shit that... Nigga, like, <laughs> nigga waited in a fucking line. This nigga was talking about, Post Malone, you suck. Like, you a bitch. Oh, yeah. His face, like, he's just like, damn, that's he's how like, you feel about me, man? He like, said... Like, that's his reaction. The guy, uh, what Post said, yeah, he, he, said, he said, he goes... He goes, that's not nice or some shit he said. He's like, he's like, no, he's like, he's like that's rude. He said that's rude. That's what he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Man, was like, and we're like, we got to protect this nigga how could you like? Costs. How could you hate on a nigga that's like That's what I'm saying. How could you hate him? Like, There's some people that just like, aren't, like you, you just like, can't. You suck. Like, yeah, it's like, do that to a fucking 6'9 or something. Yeah. Like, I, don't like, know. I feel like we need to get that nigga jumped or something. Okay, shit. got a song. What? Glow. Trash. By glow, with, glow with Kanye and Drake off More Life. Trash. I don't know. That song was not good. I'm sure it's not bad. We'll play it out of this. It wasn't good. And then, hold on, wait. I don't know that song. It's because it wasn't good. That's why you don't know it. It's not Is good. It, it wasn't good or bad? No, it wasn't good. So it's not a bad song. It's, well, it's not, put this way. I can't say it's a bad song because of the names on it, but the song itself was not good. Like, it's not a song I'd be like, hey, play that glow, nigga. Like, there's still no such thing as a bad Drake song. No, because we're talking about, like, to the masses type shit. Like, yeah. you made... Well, there's, like, there's hella songs I'm just like, by Drake, this uh, is not good. There's people that track. were glow. People didn't like glow like that. Rebel that was one of the songs. Yeah. Like I'm a well-put-together song is yeah, what we're talking it about. It wasn't good. Okay. We'll listen to it after. Anyway. So, I was, th- I was thinking, I was just thinking, like, who... Okay, so, reality is, who does this album benefit more? All right. Drake or 21? I don't think it benefits neither more. That's why, going back to your point, while well, they're just probably having fun on it. They're both just at the top. I think one's in his lane. It Wait, no, we got, I thought you were gonna, gonna say rebuttal. No, I, it definitely benefits Twenty One more. It does, but they already had like multiple songs. Like, what else does he really need? Like, I don't know. A whole ass album. An album. <laughs> but like, is he gonna? You think he's gonna get like clouded up, glowed up off this shit? No, like, I'm not saying to that point, but it still does at the end of the day benefit him more to add that to his catalog to well, do a whole collab. When album. you think about that, okay, there, there's probably some Drake fans like there's all over the world who are like, "Who's 21?" Okay, so I get that. Yeah, there's a lot of but, things, there's a lot of things who have a Drake feature, okay, and Drake does features purely off the strength of whether or not he fucks with you. It has nothing to do with the money or anything like that. You can't pay for a Drake feature. Yeah, I okay? guess at this point I'm thinking like a Drake. Well, what's the album, but. I don't know if it's gonna, I guess, benefit him that much. Twenty one, because he's done shit with J Cole. He already has hella songs with Drake. I don't know. I'm just yeah. I'm just, it's so funny because I don't even. Be th- I really don't think that Twenty One is that good. He's not, but he's. Uh, I, don't. I mean, I fuck with him, but there, but, there, but there's an element about him that the that the that the public like likes. So and and he I don't I don't, I don't I don't know what it is. It's kind of like voice. His voice is it his voice? voice. Yeah. I feel like he's like. A corporate trap nigga. He is. Like, does that make sense? No, it does. It, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, he's like, he is like the, the he's he, he's kind of like, fuck, how can I explain this? Like, the professional or like the poster child of like all like the, the, the trap, like, you know, hood type shit or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So like, he's the face of that. So people kind of like. Yeah. Looked at him to be that guy to add on to it. And he's very good on features. Like, he adds an element, which is which is very dope. And I fuck with it. Yeah. But my whole point of this is, like, at the end of the day, 21 is really, he's not that good. He you know isn't, saying? but he's, he's, not talented. Bad. he's a talented of trap course he artist. Is. Of course he is. I think and, and I, I think he can him. rap to a certain degree, at, like, when he wants to. Everybody calm down. But, yeah, I think he I think he can. Uh, But I just, I don't know. I don't think he benefits, going to benefit that 
great. I'm just thinking, I guess, like if he compared another artist or like, yeah. But he will to some extent, cause like, like like I said, he has a Drake has of course a crazy fan base where some niggas gonna be like, okay. But cause I'm, I'm I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, okay, who could have who could have went on this album and made it in other than Twenty One? Who could have been better, a better fit? Um, besides Twenty One, because honestly, I would, Cardi. I would who <sighs> Cardi. Mm-mm. Huh? Yeah. Javier said Travis Scott. Uh uh-uh. uh. Nope. Oh, what do you no, think? Travis Scott album would have been. Bro, that should have been fire. Nigga Tory Lanez would have made the album 20 times better. There's a lot of people that like that, a name. That that would have just. That's his own, like, lanes. That, like, but no. Great. I mean, they're, they're all cool. Nigga, I'd rather, I'd rather hear a Drake Lil Dirk album. What? The fuck? Over 21 Savage and Drake? <laughs> I, think a, I think a Drake. Hear me out here. A Drake Rick Ross album. That'd be I mean, dope. Or some like hip hop, some jazz type hip hop beats. Be like, yes, a Drake dope. Rick Ross album. Think about all the songs they fire. freestyle songs they have together. Nigga, right. those shits go crazy. How you and your feelings think about like, damn, nigga. that nigga said what? Hear me out here. Rick Ross okay, does nigga. not get the okay. fucking credit he deserves, bro. You don't think so? No. Do, who do, do you do you hear people mention Rick Ross enough? In I just think he hasn't like, dropped. He hasn't dropped because he don't want to, he, obviously. But he, I think no, he still I think drops. He, oh, he does. He still drops. He dropped oh, down last year. Yeah, maybe he ain't. <laughs> he still drops. Yeah, he can rap. I just bro. think he's. I think he's pretty solidified, though. He's definitely solidified, but no people don't mention Rick Ross in terms of like him being the great, a uh, great. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, okay. I see what you're saying. So, but he, Rick Ross, is fire, bro. Okay? He is, and I've and I've and I've, I've said this and I've stood on this for years actually because. His beat selection is fire, okay? Mm-hmm. He is, like, witty enough. His voice is good, okay? And he has a very nice flow, mm-hmm. okay? He he, he he can he can also make records, like, good songs, mm-hmm. okay? Couple that with Drizzy, nigga, that is unstoppable to me. Man. That's, like, unstoppable, bro. Think about it. it, it they, got, they got the songs to prove what he's yes, saying. Yes, bro. I think. Because you, you, you can go from Aston Martin Music, which is some old shit, obviously, or... You can go to Lemon Pepper Freestyle. Bro, Lemon right. Pepper Freestyle All right. is a classic. This nigga. You do. We all, are, y'all, are y'all coming at me or some shit? No. I'm agreeing. Push way. I, nah, I, 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 I would with Jay-Z Georgia. would be fire. They don't. That, that would, I would be prefer, like a, I would prefer an album with Drake and Ross I mean, over Drake yes and, and the, Jay-Z or R- Ross and Jay-Z. Yeah, I think I'm the main thing wrong. from this combo, Drake will make a good collab album with almost any, like, just no. fire Rapper that we fuck to with. the most part. To, to, <laughs> That's to, to a we just extent, named like, like ten rappers, yeah. and it was like, oh, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Yeah. That'll be fine. I think that'll all be fine because Drake's always gonna be someone's favorite rapper artist, and then Back. you just name your favorite rapper artist. And guess what? It's a fire ass album. Eric said Drake and Baby Rax. Who? <laughs> <laughs> I think. Yeah. Who? All right. <laughs> Drake and Blueface, bro. Oh hell no! <laughs> you got me Shout out to all. Eric for that. Only me and certain yeah, people will get that. Facts, but yeah, um, I don't know, man. Ross don't get the credit. What about Drake and Megan Stallion? Oh, on that note, <gasps> this has been another episode of Payday. Out. <laughs> episode twenty nine. Oh wait, no. What about Ice Spice and Drake, bro? But right. they made an album together. Cut his mic off, nigga. Said she ass. was a ten. I'm dead ass. But she was better on mute, so that means he would do a song by himself. She rap on it. You just mute we her verse. Know you know, it's better on mute. You niggas. <laughs> we, don't know, we don't even know if he was talking about her, bro. We know she was talking about. We know who he was talking about. Who else we gonna talk about that rap? That's a ten, in your eyes. Or in his eyes, he flew the bitch out, so she got to be a 10. In his eyes. And she raps. She you think music. she's a 10. I don't. Because you're thinking it's about her. Because you obviously, who else would it be then? I mean, that's what I'm saying. Who else would it be? What other female rapper? So you rapper? think she's a 10? But I'm saying, what other female rapper would he so be? So you think she's a 10? No, no, no. I didn't say that. Then it's not her then. No, it is though. Then why is it her then? Because he flew the because bitch out. Because she's a 10. Out. Contact, no, no. <laughs> that nigga no. ain't much. No. That nigga is a munch. That nigga dumb as hell. <laughs> bro, but you think she's a 10? No, I don't. <laughs> then why do you think it's about her? Bro, put his way. <laughs> he literally said, yo. Okay. She's better on me. What female rapper have you ever heard about Drake getting with or anything? I think. That's a 10. Other than Nikki. We've heard rumors about that, but so, uh, don't know. Rewind this convo. I think. Okay. Munch. That's a, that's a that's a pretty catchy song. Let's be real. Yes, of course. Um, catchy, but she can't rap. Whatever. Flow's cool. Delivery's cool. Like her image is cool, I guess. Uh, and this new song, the bikini. What, what do y'all think about that song? Yeah. I didn't click on it. I yeah. I heard it and I'm just like, of course everybody's probably like, what the f-? like this beat, blah blah blah. But yeah. 
my question is because you know I like to like dive a little deeper. That beat though, like how many how many rappers you think can really like rap over that beat and make it sound kind of like like fire? Somewhat think about that like beat, bro. Like so basically like kind of on some experimental like I don't know in a way like I, she you, can, no, uh, hell no fuck no I see I see what you're trying to go no <laughs> push wait I, push wait just because the beat niggas can't rap need to maybe, oh, wait, maybe it's not maybe it's a beat that motherfuckers can't rap on because they don't want to rap on it because it's not good but the fact that she did it is still getting like it's, it's still hidden it shit ain't hidden. hidden. Not it's to not us, hidden. but like and that shit has like three million views, been out for like a week and a half. That's because she's just famous, but that's because people want to click on it because they maybe like the Munch song, so they like. But Let's it's getting see what this shit sounds like. So it's getting point. perceived well. As no, my but main think thing. about it: three million click on a song that are her friends because they like the Munch song, right? So they're like, "Oh, let's see what the song sounds like." Three million people click on it one time. That doesn't mean they clicked on it multiple times. It means they only clicked on it once. All right, once. you died. Well, no, nah, this is the thing. Too this, well, this no, nah, this is the real. This is the reality, bro. The internet, like the internet, picks and chooses who they want to hate on. Ice Spice just happens to be that one who people want to hate on. But this ain't even. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not when saying I say you it. in particular. I know. I'm not Jamari. saying. I know. All I'm saying is that Ice Spice right now is is she is the the chick that people want to hate on for whatever reason. You know what I mean? Maybe just because you she's think it's because like, people want to hate. You think it's hate? Yes, bro. The internet, especially in the hip hop media world, bro, they always direct. They like there's that one person they choose before yeah. Ice Spice. It. I mean, it could have been like at one point it was not YB and Namir. Okay. Like oh, he they, was the guy that people want to hate, you know what I'm saying? Like they, be, he becomes the the meme rapper in a sense, right? To where it's like they're the one that you want to post about all the jokes and shit like that. Ice Spice is that right now. It's like I think so she's getting a good amount of love too. She she getting hella love. She re, she doesn't get it. She really doesn't, bro. I no, feel, uh, no, she she's not respected. But no, you can't say that because she only been out for so long. Like let's bro, see where she's I, at. No, that's that, that's not a valid point though, T, because. There's been people who've been out for, you know, a couple months before who have gotten the respect and who've gotten the love. And like, okay, I actually fuck with this person. There have been people over time. I can't think of anyone off the top of my fucking head at the exact moment. But there is people who have who have been there before. So she's had more than enough time to gain respect in a sense. However. But you can earn it over time compared yes, to like but losing the, it quickly. But it's a different nobody topic. is giving her that. Because okay. they want to choose somebody to pick on on the internet, and she happens to be that person. It's down to the hair, the fact, like the music is. The music is not that bad. It's not like when you listen to it, it's on some like ear bleeding shit. It's Her really other not. Songs are pretty bad. I'm not they're gonna really not that bad. They're. It's not some of the shit that we want to listen to, but it's not like. Oh, if I hear, it, I'm like, oh my god, this is fucking terrible, bro. It's just like I ain't listening to this nigga. Like, what the fuck are we listen to? You know what I'm saying? Because it's not us. But. There are much, much worse artists out there who get praise. And you can't tell me that's not true. It, I'm not, I'm not even arguing. Oh, wait. First off, name a list of artists that are, are in her caliber as, ba- as oh, bad. I'm not, I'm not, oh, I'm not no, no, her name a list I'm, of no, artists. No, 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 no. I ain't telling you list the whole list. I'm just saying, if you think about the artists that you say that, that we would list as bad, are they worse than her? That are famous. People that are famous that rap. Which who who who's worse than her? Blueface, Iggy Azalea. I mean, Blueface is terrible. Iggy, I don't I don't listen to Iggy, so I can't really she's judge. Pretty, she's but I've bad. always, I, I mean, she doesn't sound good. She just look good. I mean, she would be in the category. Yeah, so her looks are helping. It is what it is. But wait, that's what she, makes female rappers their looks. Their looks. Literally, but yeah. she has a song that's catchy on a drill beat. Nigga, it ain't that hard to make a song on a drill. Okay, beat. so female rappers. Think about is it. it. Is it mostly the looks or is it the actual music itself? Put, wait, put her on put her on put her on a beat that's neutral, that anyone can rap on. That's not a drill beat. How how good do you think that song will sound? Nigga, not that great. I, you gotta got realize though, I'm not sitting here. No, but you're de- but I'm saying you're defending her though. So I'm just I'm just trying to I'm I'm, no, I'm not like in the middle. All I'm saying is that somebody has chosen Ice Spice, the internet, to be the 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 poster child of, you know, hate. Of the 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 meme, the whatever you know, what I'm saying because she it's just easy to pick on her with the hair and like you know all the all the like the stupid lines and shit like that. She's just we know we both from the Bronx, so I know that you dirty. Like nigga, that's not we offer them perky, but no, she gets the same love because like, there's that and then there's like a million people saying she looks amazing type shit like that. Yes, but people are saying that, but <sighs> bro, people praise no. bro. Think about it. Think Where about is she blue- gonna be in six months? Is the bro, main think question. about it. <laughs> blue face and her get the same amount of love and the same amount of hate. Remember that. That's one thing you because can't say. Because she's in the relationship. And neither one of them niggas can rap. loves that toxic black shit. I'm serious. 
And that's, that's the only oh, thing yeah, keeping him going. Sure. I, I was holding on for Blueface for a long time. Like, you got one more, you got a couple more months. You got this moonwalking calabasa shit. Uh, let's see where this goes. Nothing. Now he's in this tosser. I don't want to get into this, but yeah. No, we don't um, this, but yeah. That's the office point, yeah. Yeah. I mean, bro, think about it. Blueface so, and Ice Spice, the same lane as far as when it comes to music's bad. Blueface is just so he's a crip, he's a famous crip that got tattoos, got a blue house, got this, they got this. Motherfucking Ice Spice a bitch from the Bronx that got motherfucking she just got a fat ass and she might be pretty to most niggas. I mean, so bro, I don't know. Bro, no, no. Like, goddamn, man. Same thing. Lane. Okay, shit, pretty to most niggas. You no. would pretty to I most would hit, niggas. But she's not pretty. I would hit because she got a fat ass. I ain't gonna lie to you. I main the hey, off a goofy hey, ass. Hey, main thing in this new wave of rap, the only thing you need to last is you have to have a personality. Like, well, yeah, of if, course, yeah, but yeah, if you have the looks, if you have something about you that's meme worthy, that can like last type shit, and some niggas can't even make that last. Mm-hmm. But um, especially in the female version too, like looks whatever meme worthy type shit relationship if you're in a you can have one hit song that will be fire for like a week and then if you're in a fire relationship if you make a fucking youtube sorry you, you, you'll be lit yes. you'll be lit of course and i think that's the underlining topic of our like little debate we're having right now like of how like oh she's this she's that she's that but if you got something like that going then that's that's, that's what's gonna make you just survive in this like this whole era that we're going through right now type shit respect I so. mean, at the end of the day, Ice Spice gonna be here, nigga. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> she could be a personality. If this song don't work out, if 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 what I'm saying is wrong, like fuck the experimental shit. What I'm talking about. Thanks. If her music's just straight up like ass, she looks good. She could just be on fucking YouTube yeah. dates. Nigga, fucking she might somebody be, like she Drake. Gonna be on Love and hip hop, nigga. Yeah, be on Love and hip. Well, like Drake that's said, if, that's if you're going down. But. Ice Spice can start only fans. Only Ice Spice start only fans. Only fans. Once you only fans once get, get down, I might pay for it. She got the Drake cosign. Um, only fans is last resort though. But like, like that's like Dancing she with the did. Stars type shit. Is she on OnlyFans getting dicked down? You think Dancing with the Stars is, is is someone going down? In nigga, loving hip hop, Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> if you had a sustainable career before and you resort to one what? of the OnlyFans, uh, yeah, Dancing with the Stars, loving hip hop, your career is not. Um, it's 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 obviously falling off going out. She right. is not big enough to be on Love and Hip Hop. I mean, on uh, Dancing with the Stars. Oh, not at all. Nah, that's not, not white. All. That's a white people that's show. Stars, bro. That's yeah. where white stars who careers are going. Out. <laughs> my, my bad. Just, just Love and Hip Hop and OnlyFans. I'm I'm being dead serious. Too. <laughs> who the fuck was on that? Like, I don't. even... Listen, man. Hey, this is episode 29 of Pay the All Podcast, man. Let's go ahead and wrap this shit up. <laughs> hey, listen. Overall, all right. Touching back on her loss, all right, because that's the, that's the biggest topic of discussion in this particular case, all right. I thought it was an enjoyable album, mixtape, whatever the fuck you want to call it, all right. It felt like a mixtape. Um, Let's leave it at this. What would you rate it? Just as of now, it obviously can change because it's been out for over the years. weekend. Since first listen, I'm probably give it a give it to Andy Anthony Fantana. I'm gonna give it a seven. That's fair. I'll give it a 7.2. It was fun. I'm, I'm, I want to see how it grows it's a fun on album. shit. Pause. It's a fun album, bro. What about you, Jamar? From hearing all the only Drake songs and <laughs> loving the Travis <laughs> Scott song. I mean, if I had to give it a... I don't even know, man. <laughs> I think I'd be right around like a 6.7. I'd probably give it a 6, to be real with you. That's Just because I'm not fair. a 21 Savage fan. Yeah. I think Drake carries the album, so I think with Drake and then the, between the mix of Drake and the beats, I think the beats make up for Twenty One Savage mm-hmm. not being good. So I'll give well, it six. Yeah, let's wrap this up. <sighs> All right, man. Well, that's you heard it here first. Okay. Um, rest in peace to uh, take off again, man. Um, we appreciate y'all tuning in to episode twenty nine. Um, Follow us on IG at Payday Off Podcast. Follow me at Roy Motors. Follow him at T Greenery. And Jamari at Sincere Poppy. All right. Uh, get your imperfect tees at TroyBlyden.com. Shout out to Troy. He ain't here, but fuck it. We out. Blah.